Want me to quote you on size instead of time? Okay, you can pay more. I am a store front window painter. I typically give quotes for jobs based on supplies and time to do the job. I recently had a business owner ask for a mildly simple design on a small window and gave her the price of 150 and did the job. The business next door wanted a very simple design on bigger windows and so I did the job for 250 After I painted they didn't like my price and wanted me to charge by square foot instead of complexity and time. I had them sign a contract stating the price per square foot regardless of design and that payment was due immediately. Then I measured the windows and the price came out to $500. Made for a nice Christmas bonus. People who know nothing about art trying to determine the cost of art will never not be both frustrating and hilarious. Ha! Huh. Maybe I'm in the wrong kind of art. I love that they signed the contract first without even guesstimating. What? You charged them? Money? You should have done it for free. Think of all the exposure and likes you would have gotten. This is why I never give employees shit about riding the clock or leaving early. You did your work? You did it correctly? I won't get yelled at for your fuck-ups? Awesome. Here's your pay. Go home and chill. Had a guy power wash my house. He did in two hours what would have taken me all day. Awesome. Here's your check. If the job is done right, then I don't give a shit about how long it took. I'll even pay more if something unexpected comes up. If it ain't done right though, they hear about it until I'm blue in the face or get money back. This reminds me of when I used to wash windows as a side gig. I would charge $1 per side, window so the window would be $2 inside and out. Some chose just for outside. Often businesses would jump at it because it sounded cheap. I could have 200 windows done in an hour and a half and it would be $400. Tax free. I was always met with blank stares and a WTF look as owners, managers would write out a check. Did you intentionally choose a price per square foot that you knew would go higher than your regular rate? Or did you use some standard price that happily worked out to more? They deserve what they got either way. Just curious how much this was planned versus coincidence. Wow. Well done. I'm glad you got your money's worth. Are you going to move forward with a standard contract for your jobs now? I run into similar situations as a welder. I had a lady ask me to make her a cross with only horseshoes and no visible welds. Easy enough. But she didn't want used shoes. She wanted new. So I gave her the price of each option. She insisted on new. When I gave her the final price she agreed. I make this thing then she backs out as I'm delivering it at no extra charge. So I ended up putting it up on my FB page for sale plus shipping if needed. I made an extra $200 on that thing. So the lady called me like a week later wanting her cross. I enjoyed telling her I sold it and made a nice profit on it. This is less malicious compliance and more petty revenge. But still. This reminds me of my uncle that combines other farmers' crops. He charges by the acre but one guy insists it be by the hour. Now my uncle figures it out to about the same but this guy generally has better than average crops. And thus takes longer to harvest even after telling him this he still wants to pay more. I've found that things like this boil down to the two-thirds rule. There are three primary aspects to every job. 1. Quality 2. Time 3. Price. The customer can pick two of the three. In most situations. I was a subcontract for a video job with an investment firm earlier this year. The person facilitating it and I settled on a price based on what the company was paying her. 
Her and I had a contract for a certain amount of money. But for some reason she didn't get one from the firm. So after I was about three quarters of the way through editing 40 short videos for them. They said they weren't paying her as much as they originally promised because they'd just pay me directly and instead of the flat rate I usually charge for a project of that size. They want it hourly. I was not impressed. But when the time came to send them the invoice, it ended up being about $800 more for them to charge hourly than what I had originally agreed upon. With the other person. She was a friend. So I was doing her a favor. They had no clue until she accidentally let it slip what I was charging her. They threatened to take me to court over it. Sent me a big long email about it. I just responded, you decided to change the deal by cutting her out. You wanted to pay my hourly rate so you did. I'm happy to highlight the emails you sent regarding this. Only time I heard from them after that was asking me to do all their social media posting because they couldn't figure out how to download the videos and then post them. Business went under six months later and they never even used the videos. Painting X dollar, design X dollar, cheap bastard priceless. Haha, <laughs> yes, business. Could you imagine being so cheap as to try to haggle over a few bucks in price? While also so stupid as to not run the math to see if you are going to save money. Tattoo artists know this game all too well. Do these people think that you would calculate a rate based on volume that would be cheaper than your rate based on time? You set both rates. You are not going to willingly just lose money. What I hate is when the client says it's an easy job. Shouldn't take too long. It takes as long as it takes. The actual job cost $10 an hour. Plus $90 an hour for the 40 years it took me to learn it. My mind went straight to the gutter when I read that title. Okay, question. I've been seriously wanting to get into window painting but I have no idea how to get anyone to want me to paint their windows. How did you start? This is the way. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.